going to see any fighting coming into this first little bit here. Hanskin just looking over at this bounty rune with Charlie, so... Let's see who grabs it. Ooh, good flame break, and Ooh, SH SH matches it. He's in some trouble, and is going to get run down here with the EMP, and first blood going to the Invoker. Maybe not the combination you want to be giving away, especially first blood to the, to the mid laner. Yeah, good start from so. Laning stage-wise, really nice stuff from Alliance already. I mean, throughout the DPC, they also had, like, um, I would say some good laning stages, but then they, like, threw a lot of their games. And uh, not sure if it's going to happen here, but so far the pressure has oh, been on good point. Good And Brokey. Brokey. Trouble. Blood grenade and a kill for S4. And they're even looking over at Yuma. Bad creeps pushing in a little bit more. They probably would have dove that tower. And Hanskin's on GH. And... You can see Charlie coming over, maybe looking for some help. They've gotten themselves the flame break. Good to get in front of the roll from GH. And Hanskin helping to create that opportunity there to get the kill. Mikey, he's low on mana. His bottle did not get refilled. I looked the side lanes for Alliance because Charlie, he's getting some solo levels, level six already on Naga Siren. S4 needs like two waves to get to level six. Uh, Look control, at Charlie, he's how two aggressive he is. Behind and and you can see the aggression coming in from Charlie. Mikey comes over. Hanskin's here. They go to the Rolling Thunder, but they've got the Snowball. They'll get the kill into Mind Control. Charlie thinking about coming back over, but GH with the roll. Comes and down. Pablo oh, knows the Thunder spot. continuing, and ooh, they may not be able to save Hanskin. They finally get a kill, but Charlie and Pablo kind of wonder how far they're going to be willing to go, but they've got some help here coming through with the Invoker. So EMP with the Magic Tornado, one. and they're going to get another kill on this Pango and a roll in from GH. But just a bit too far, they don't want to chase and go for anything more, but maybe they could just wrap around and get mind control. 2,000 net worth behind this uh, Naga Siren. They want Kuro, Pablo. They might get the dual damage because of the block, Snowball, if Legion yeah. Commander's following, and he is, Snowball is Four. there. We've got the Snowball, pulls him in, and then we'll get this duel and get the dual damage. Him. Overwhelming odds over him. Then the duel. Now Mikey coming over. Chrono on a two. They'll start the rolling thunder that starts at the end of the chrono. The roll comes in. This would be a good pair of kills here for the side of Nigma Galaxy. Pablo trying to run towards the EMP, but he just doesn't have enough life to survive to get to that point. And two kills there for Nigma Galaxy. They start to pull back the net worth deficit just the touch. There's always going to be like at least one lane pushing in because Naga Siren's going to take care of that. Then you'll have Invoker using his abilities, sending down Forge Spirits. If he shows here, they might jump him. S4, he's ready to yeah, go. Yeah, looking for the duel, gets it, roll off the mark again. Sunstrike looking for the victory, and there's another one. 84 dual damage for S4. Tornado comes in again. They've got the Time Walk as well as the Time Dilation, but the Snowball hits on a Yuma. They look over at Pablo and put the Spirit Vessel on him. The Chrono's going to be committed onto the Invoker, but they've got the Song, and they've got the save, but the Primal Roar and the damage. Can they finally get the Invoker? No, not yet. Time Walk's still looking, but he gets the Invis. He gets away. Kuroki's going to die. They've got the Lasso on a Yuma. They'll get the kill on a three, four heroes now on Nigma Galaxy gone. S4 to the Spirit Vessel will die. Mind Control's the last one alive on the side of Nigma Galaxy. But Charlie trying to Charlie, stay on his ground and fight. Really low. He's low. They're slamming over here, and they need to uh, It could be insurmountable for the side of Nigma Galaxy, but when we watch that first series, no lead is ever safe. And, you know, it's if they can buy their time and suck glimpses of potential, but not when you get caught like this. They've got the snowball, that lands, another victory for S4, and he is now in the three-digit zone of this dual damage. And they've got the net, they have good shards to block in Mikey, there's the walrus punch. But it's a false promise, that orb's still red. He is in trouble, they're diving on the tier three, they get the kill onto the Pangolier, and they're looking for the Oracle to get a plus one, that's gonna be three years dead on the side of Nigma Galaxy, and this sets them up for what you were talking about, just going up out of the high ground and taking some buildings. Yeah, they feel very comfortable. They have multiple ways of K per minute. MC could be in trouble here. Snowball, there it is. He's got the punch. He also has the kick. That's going to kick him right into a duel. It just gets so rough. But the Chronosphere, Flame Break, there's the song. BKB, does he have the damage? Pablo in trouble, might die, finally falls. That's at least one. Primal Roar. 
Burn down some damage. They're slamming. Roll comes in from GH. They've got the magnetized. The time walk forward. They're trying to get the kill here on a hot skin and look for more. They hit the control on an S4. GH going in. He's got the spirit vessel on him, so he'll leave from the fight for a moment. Magnetize on all three of these heroes for a second, but they just don't have the chase potential at the moment without GH. So they're still looking to just take this second racks up here, this melee racks. Maybe they can hold him to the timer, but it's still another minute and 30 seconds left on this Aegis, like waiting for that timer to expire. I, I just don't they see got it. The they've duel. got the blink, they've got the duel. It's gonna be onto the Oracle. They'll get the kill there on a Kuroki. He's gonna buy back immediately. They've got themselves the last one of the Beastmaster as well. Mind Control caught Chrono on a three, but again, no follow -up. There's just no damage here for Yuma and the side of Enigma Galaxy in the moment. He's Beastmaster punch, down to half kicked. health. They've got themselves the kick. They have themselves the Aura's Punch as well. And Yuma, well, He's in some trouble as they've got themselves the false promise, but they get the kill to Pablo. That's at least one dead on the side of Alliance and no more mana left on Charlie, so they'll willingly walk. Kill them. Regeneration. Aegis is going to expire in 40 seconds, so I feel like Charlie's just going to go ham, go and try to finish off this last melee barracks. So they will be playing against Mega Creeps. Yeah. For how long, we'll have to see. Well, Thorn and the duel, easy kill. Uh, he's got buyback, but it's just, it feels so rough. Even if you defend, you, the, the gold situation is really just terrible. He's gonna buy back, but not before Mind Control dies and has to buy back himself. They've got the silence out of the faceless void. The tornado lands again. There's the lasso, killing a Yuma. He doesn't have buyback, Meteor's down, and so is GH. Rolling Thunder is going to hit up the Invoker, but there's not much going on here that's going to look good here for the side of Enigma Galaxy. As they roll, and they've got some control on S4, but there's the Snowball save as well as the Song. S4 low, but once the Rolling Thunder is over, he's stuck with his ears clogged from the Song of the Siren coming out from Charlie, and the damage coming through into Mikey. They'll get themselves another kill. They look over at GH. Even with the BKB, he is just so vulnerable in the fight. They call G8, uh, GG, and they'll get the kill in a mind control, and the first game goes to Alliance. Oh man, what a showing from Alliance in the first game. Almost like a perfect game. There was like one mess, messed up fight for them with uh, not like the perfect spell casting, but other than that, Alliance really on point in this first game. And you can see them on camera. They're really hyped up. Pablo, he stood up immediately. I like to see that kind of energy. Charlie also having a perfect game of his own. Though that uh, tree protector hits that hard. If I got hit by a tree, it, it would hurt. And when heroes get hit by a tree, it hurts. Whether it's tiny and or tree protector doing it. Oh. Gosh, some good damage onto the Queen of Pain. Also, S4, he's gonna die here in the top lane for first blood. Uh, Pablo, he was not close. They need to hold hands and together. Bottom for a second he's, too. He's Icarus going dive, in. Fire spirits, Hanskin getting low, trying to run. Lucent Beam's not in time to get the save. And they've got another kill here for the side of Enigma Galaxy. Already a huge turnaround from what was game one in the lanes. As soon as they hit that- 450 gold away. So there's some time there. Wisdom Rune swiped there by the Tree and Protector, but Hurricane pulls him back. He's trying to find an escape, but the relocate stopping his path. As Yuma's coming over, he wants that permanent Agi once again. And gets it. Get it. We're at five already. Yeah. Fusel Blade now finished on Yuma. This is Nigma's timing. Like they need to start running at them. They have. Mech They're going again, going Thunder. In 200 gold, this is another easy oh. pickup for them. Pounce missing, not gonna matter. GH gets the kill, that's another permanent agility there for the Slark. And the way that Alliance were doing it to Enigma Galaxy is what they're doing. Well done there by S4 to at least not allow them they're to They're going to get wait that. them on a relocate. Let's see but if both of them come back. They do. Oh, they come over and they might get both these kills or none of these kills. They can't even get GH. Pounce. They've got the Manta. They use the Doom. It's onto the Queen of Pain. Overgrowth comes oh, in, but the on everybody. Supernova Super goes Nova. off and just explodes onto the side of Alliance. They get both the one and the two. They look over at this tree and protector. They'll grab themselves a third. Pablo's next on the list, and all four will die. It is just falling apart for Alliance. Uh, GH had met. Exactly what you want to do, but you don't exactly have the best team right now, especially in this situation, in defending those stacks. And here they go again. Yuma, GH, they have just not stopped moving around the map to get these kills. Yuma a little bit low, but of course GH 
She's here and ready. They've got themselves a duel. They finally get on the board, but they end up trading at least one for that. Charlie's in trouble. He'll pop the Manta. He's trying to get out of this, but hexed up and killed off. And he was hexed because he used that pig pull to try and leave. S4, not a lot of mana left on him. Mind Control getting drained, but Pablo can't do much but stand there and look as he loses both his carry and his offlaner. Infernal Blade slammed down onto Pablo. He's trying to stand with the tier one tower to survive, but that ain't gonna happen. He'll go into this river to get a shallow water grave, and it's a triple kill for Yuma. He well, has permanent full eggs. Yeah, if he disassembled, I'd fight him. So you're coming over with the last two comp oh, components of this Ags, and while he's doing so, gets a courier, which was, I believe, basically the ending of this orchid. And they're gonna find themselves S4, and it's godlike for Yuma already, and he is looking like he's about to go beyond. Yeah, it, it that this Sark is unstoppable. 14 permanent Agi. 23 essence shift, stealing uh, 69 agility. They can pretty much go whenever they feel like it. They're actually looking for Lincolns on Sark. I don't think we've seen finger used really. Yeah, no finger. Oh God, pouncing from the high ground. Pablo never even saw it coming. This is just insane what Yuma's doing. Also having Slark getting rid of enemy vision. Stealing Don't stats again and, and oh, another relocate. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff we used to see with like that like Lesh and, and Io or the Sven Io. Kuroki's not even gonna die here. Dual damage, never heard of it. But Kuroki, he finally dies to a blinking in Queen of Pain who has blink again but no mana afterwards. Can they get one more kill? Yuma. He's got an Aegis, so. Going into this, all right, Duel's gonna be used. So is the Eclipse, but they still haven't killed him yet. Sonic Wave even comes in. They use the finger. They get themselves the Aegis out of the hands of the Sark, but they've used literally everything to get that singular kill with an Aegis. Charlie's gonna be forced to have found the low ground, but Yuma's gonna pounce and follow him. They look over at Hanskin. They're gonna chop down this tree. A bunch of lumberjacks inside Enigma Galaxy are. And they get three kills and they just lose an Aegis. They used everything. They were mad at Yuma. And I get it. Oh, okay. Four Euros coming over, looking, searching, trying to get something. Not finding it. Uh, I, well, you know what? I know. I, I said not finding it. I'm lying. Yuma's just going. There's the pounce. Leashes. Oh, oh, oh mind control. Three man war stomp. They're gonna get the kill on a Pablo. They'll finish off S4. I mean, that is picture perfect from Doom. That's that's the dream war stomp you always want. Be too upset about that if he foregoes the BKB with how dominant it's been so far. But oh, Charlie. They know. Double they pounce. They got him. Locked him up. Lincoln's pop. And eventually the right clicks will take him out as he's now got 29 on the essence shift. They're also gonna go back over towards bottom and a blink BKB TP from this Queen of Pain leaving Pablo to die. Hanskin trying to get out of this one but the pounce leashes and Yuma's got another. 24 back to the top permanent lane. agility. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We, he did that all within the countdown of a relocate. <laughs> Hurricane Pike proccing the Lincolns there, so he stays in the spot as Luna dies in like three hits. For Quab. Oh gosh. All oh, the pounce leashes. And he's dead just so quickly. Never standing a chance. He dies in one pounce. That, that's how this game over is over. It's just uncombackable you, you, like you, uh, they they need to lose like 10 fights in a row to be able to match the amount of gold that they have yuma's pouncing over here doing these like 90 degree tricks and leashing like he's on the on x games like this is insane like that one to get the quap there it is so we'll see 
as Mikey. Oh, Onskin, he was affected by that. And here comes this Doom and the rest of the side, Enigma. Yuma just gonna right click down S4 with Kuroki Sunray. They've got the Doom out. They'll try to stop the TP. BKB is gonna make sure that the Queen of Pain gets out, but the kill off Pablo and Charlie. Godlike for mind control, and he still gets the kill onto the Queen of Pain in the base. They call GG 37 to 2 for Enigma Galaxy as they even the series up. Yeah, Enigma Galaxy is like, you dismantled us in the first game, you know? And uh, you've got mid lane, at least Mikey, you know, he's CSing really well. Once the EMP was out of the equation, he's had a lot better of a time with this hero. Mind Control, though, he is in trouble, and the roll is not going to be in time. So he just gets run down here by Charlie, and there's a Blood Grenade. He doesn't have a Time Walk, and these Eidolons are going to start to put the damage on, but they stop. It's scary. Yeah, but converting somebody in Eidolons is pretty cool as well. Starbreaker lands, and Yuma's in trouble. Dodges the damage, but didn't dodge a stun. Blood Grenade. Fire Spirits now. He's got the Jingu. And he's got a Boundless Strike available. He might just turn to get the kill here on a Pablo. And with the Sunray help, he's able to heal up and also get that damage out and turn this gank around. Or, well, turn this aggression around. Mid lane, there is a gank going on. Flame Break pushes up GH. Not any mana left onto the Lashrac, but enough so where he's able to get that Lightning Storm after popping those Arcane Boots. Again, Roll does not connect. But Enigma Galaxy now magic missile on the Yuma. He's trying to get the Jingu on Hanskin. Roll coming in, but it's off the mark. Boundless Strike is available if they want to use it, but he doesn't exactly have a lot of life left. He did get the Jingu. They go to the magic missile again on a GH. S4 coming in with a Starbreaker. Boundless Strike stops it, but here comes the Lashrac, and they're trying to get a kill on a Yuma, and they'll run him down with the Pulse Nova. Chuan being the first guy that here. rotates to the side lane. They get the kill. Four points in Lightning Storm. He's having an easy game at the moment. He's going into the Midas, maybe expecting this to go later. Bottom tower but Midas Maelstrom BKB. Already That's knows what he wants to go for. Monkey. Roll. Black and hole. Monkey there here. Black hole's used. Geomagnetic grip got the silence, so there was no time walk. Flame break's not gonna stop that. They get the kill on a Charlie. They might turn it for a kill on a GH as well as Yuma. He's got the Jingu, but he has no one to right click when he's stunned up. So a two for one trade, a kill on a Kuroki Courier. That's, you know, it sucks to lose your faceless void, but it's great to get a return to. Yeah, and you can see Charlie already hitting them with well played immediately. Knows that uh, there's not much <clears throat> he can contribute with, so pops that well played. S4. Rolling Thunder. Celestial Hammer, can he get out of the trouble? Get slowed down. Sunray, Rolling Thunder, then stops it, has the swashbuckle. Well done by Mikey to get on the, onto the board here. And he really wants to push into that defusal as quickly as possible. That's going to be a big item to pick up. And that's really the Pango can kind of get the ball rolling. Oh, and, mind control. Uh, He's very uh -oh. dead here. Yeah, they've got Lasso. They've got the control. They have another magic missile if needed. They'll throw it anyway. It's good damage. They'll get the kill. And I, it, it's just Alliance doing a lot of EMA 200 gold needed here for Pangolier to get himself into that defusal. Each is on the high ground. Mike Control again now having to back up, but they've got this kill with the swap and, you know, eventually he'll just burn out. Kroki's trying to help him. Now they've got the Solar Guardian. They're chasing right on top. They've got the Firefly. They'll get the kill, but, ooh, S4 doesn't actually even commit to the Solar Guardian. They end up losing the Bat Rider. It turns into a one for one, but it's a three for a for a, a support. Ooh, Pablo a dodges it. Plays the slow. Roll is available. Can he get the deny? The roll stopping him from doing so, and Kuroki gets the kill, and now he's level seven. Pablo also losing his courier there that had that chainmail available for him. Doesn't, like, really thrive when it comes down to farming. Can't really push the yeah. waves fast. You can stack, and uh, you're really good at fighting, but other than that, the hero doesn't get the gold. Hoping to get that Philly Stone. Maybe hoping to get a kill here. Magic Missile. And there's another one. Just catching Kuroki in No Man's Land. 
They're also looking over mid because they want to save Hanskin. They get the roll, but there's a lot of TPs coming in. Geomagnetic Grip gets the silence onto this Batrider. And they go to the Solar Guardian. Now they've got another on GH. They've doubled the net worth lead from two to 4,000. And no kills there for Enigma Galaxy. Smokes. Well, he's got this early vessel, so... At least he's got that for now, but again, we'll see what he ends up going for. They're looking to get the kill on a Charlie once again, but they've got a swap available from Pablo, who's been really just Good sitting swap. there with him. It's a great swap. They get this faceless void out. They end up losing Pablo, but that's well worth it. Blink into the lasso. That's going to be out of this Monkey King. Now the time dilation, but Hanskin taking a lot of damage by jumping into the Wukong's command that never breaks. Now the black hole is down. Void walks into it. Solar Guardian's there. Mike Troy and you are going to die. They go to the Colonel, lands on two. Charlie going in, looking for Kuroki, taking out this Phoenix, gets in front of the roll, and they'll take out GH as well. A good turnaround there from Alliance as Charlie comes up on top. And they really do a good job. Yeah, there, there's some argument for it to be played as carry, maybe oh, position four game. if needed. And also you can like cancel it. Like you can mm -hmm. immediately drop it down on top of the black hole. So that's going to be I a big upgrade. Are getting vision he's them. very low in mana. Oh boy, Mikey, he's caught, killed, and gone. And GH is next. BKB was used. They're going to look over at Kuroki. Yuma looking for this old Chrono into the Wukongs. It's going to be a fight, but it's one that Charlie was winning and he bails. But still, they get that kill on a Yuma with Pablo going in and throwing in the magic missile. They came through the Twin Gate. Nigma well, are in trouble. Net worth lead, just all alliance. And uh, well, we were talking about well, it. Who's rounding it up right game. now? It's a 10k gold lead. <laughs> It's also not uh, okay. how you round it up. Like, you go for the, like, much bigger number. MC? Getting yeah, dumped on. Yeah, he is just on the low ground, hanging out, and now in a six-foot ditch. This has just gotten out of control, and I don't Ooh. think Nigma quite have the tools in the moment. Radiance top tower is under attack. Ooh, there's Lasso available again. Pickoffs all across the map. No safety here for Nigma at all. Hanskin, he's been on point. Like, he is all over the place, catching them off guard. Every single time Lasso is available, that's a guaranteed kill for Alliance. Kuro might get caught here. No Lasso whatsoever, but can they execute Blink Dagger? They yes, they blink, can. So they could stick with him no matter where he goes. Oh, boy. From 11,000 to 14,000. There's an idea of where they're going, and it's Yuma who maybe find. Ooh, Trickster. Or, or gets found by the Lashrak. Soar Guardian's gonna stick with him. He pops the BKB, goes into the Wukongs. They're equally distant on the radius, and they're gonna find the black hole, but they don't have the damage. It's just not there. Yuma's dead. He's taking the 310 to a destination far out of this game. And Kuroki's going to fall this as well. Down it. goes Mind Control. They're going to look for GH. They'll buy back on Mind Control. But what's he going to do? He doesn't have a black hole to work with. And he's just an enigma at this point. Yeah, this Solar Guardian is causing a lot of issues. He's just waiting, waiting until, like, maybe Enigma wants to get in. Sure, he lands a black hole. But these are super expensive buybacks. They have one more fight left in the tank. No buyback on Monkey King. Yuva doesn't have it. He's short 600 gold for it. This is Mega's swap. Uh-oh, GH, and he is caught, killed, gone. And this is it. Like, I, they can't punch back. No black hole. Monkey King is dead for 20 seconds. You're playing against Mega Creeps. Uh, they're going to go yeah. in and try to end it. Time walk forward. He still has Chrono, though. Lasso's there, and there's the stun with it. Mikey's going to fall. He's dead, and he's got buyback. He's going to be forced to use it to line up here with the Monkey King, but they're still working with the fact that Charlie's got Chrono. He has double Chrono. He, he is double. He's got Refresher in just a second. And level 25 with the Diabolic Edict Explosions, cleaning up these towers very quickly. They can go in, and they, they can just end Swap with Chrono here. Swap Chrono on the edge, there's the Refresher, and the Solar Guardian right on top of Yuma. He's never really been able to react. They'll get the kill on the Yuma, he's no there for 80 Chrono. seconds. Icarus dive, and now the time walk in again. They get the kill on the Kuroki, they'll look over at Mind Control. Hanskin's gonna fall, but he's gonna buy back into this one. 
They've also got Mikey trying to defend as much as they can. They don't want to call the GG. They want to make them work for it. Swashbuckle, there's the bash, but there's the inhibit for the defusal. It doesn't matter with the Starbreaker coming out from S4. There's another Chrono, and three right clicks to get the kill on a Mikey. They'll take out Mind Control. They'll call GG, and Alliance eliminate Nigma in the first round of the lower bracket. Yeah, it seems like Alliance was uh, much better prepared for it. Uh, like the first game, they looked uh, really good.